Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Code Proxy. Here on my channel, I make video game reviews every two weeks. Today I will review a game called Ground Branch. I will put a link to the game in the description so you can go get it yourself. Before the video begins, don't forget to check out my friend Cobra Striker. He makes similar content as me, and if you love Leo gaming content, you'll certainly love his channel. Also, it seems that the last video was a relative success, so please feel free to like, share, and comment on this video if you like it, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to to see more videos like this. In this video, I will cover price, maps, gameplay, performance, audio, and of course my final thoughts. Now let's get started. You can get Ground Branch for $29.99 on Steam. According to SteamDB, it's been for sale as low as $14.99. And even though Ground Branch is an early access game, it is brimming full of playable content and I would highly recommend you consider checking out this game. However, the game is not perfect and I will mention why throughout the video. Ground Branch offers 14 maps that allow for almost every playstyle. The maps are Training, 747, Compound, Creek, Depot, Docks, Power Station, Rig, Rundown, Small Town, Storage Facility, Tanker, Arena, and Arena 2. All footage of the maps were taken using the default mission parameters. The first map takes place at the end of a runway that is part of a small underdeveloped airfield somewhere in the Horn of Africa. Terrorists have seemed to have seized a Ram Airway 747 airline liner and patrol the surrounding areas. This map is great for warming up with friends or playing solo because of its size. City takes place in a peaceful downtown square that is littered with empty cars and emergency vehicles. You are tasked with sweeping through the city and neutralizing all enemy combatants. This map should be played with a friend or two because of the area and depth of the map offers. I will not fully recommend this map to solo players. Compound takes place in an unusually fortified complex in southern Asia and is rumored to contain a high value target. Your mission is to infiltrate the compound and eliminate all enemy forces. I would definitely bring a full squad of friends to play this map with you because of the complexity and it would help you watch each other's backs. Creek takes place at a winding creek that runs through some subtropical woodlands that inhabit cabins, ruins, tunnels, and a militia encampment. You should 100% bring a friend with you on this one because the enemies here can engage you from the other side of the map. Depot takes place on a a large island that has temperate forests with scattered man-made structures surrounding a central compound. This is yet another map where it is nice to have friends to play with because the central complex has very large buildings and it can be easy to get lost in this map. Docks takes place at a small-scale cargo port on the coast of an unknown location full of trucks, warehouses, cranes, and dozens of shipping containers. This map is another map where you can play solo because it is a small to medium-sized map and the enemies are generally easier to find. Power station takes place somewhere in the Middle East at a under construction substation part of a wind power farm with a large T-shaped building and maintenance tunnels. This map is great for solo and dual players alike because this map is small and has plenty of options to navigate around the map. Rig takes place on allegedly one of the biggest rigs ever built and it has been seized by bad guys. It is your job to infiltrate and reestablish order by neutral the bad guys. You 100% have to have a full squad in this map unless you hate yourself. Rundown takes place in a decrepit abandoned building standing in an Eastern European industrial district. It appears that it used to be a school, then a field hospital. This time around it seems to have some uninvited guests and you are sent to exterminate them. This map is for dual players to practice CQB. This map is also great for solo warm-ups as well. Small Town takes place in a mount training site. This this map features four multi-story buildings and a small closed off wooded area for CQB practice. It seems like a small militia has taken control of this site and you are sent to politely ask them to leave with your talking stick. This map is one of the nice overall maps, especially for solo and duo players. Storage facility takes place somewhere in the Ukrainian wilderness where a large lakeside tunnel in the side of a mountain serves as a storage facility for undisclosed woods. This map is best played with a squad of friends due to this map leaning 
being on the larger side. Tankers and natural gas carrier vessel en route to an oil platform off the eastern coast of Africa. This ship's multi-level accommodation overlooks its 170 yard deck. This map is cool if you like ships. It is also recommended that you have some friends because this ship has a lot of compartments to go through. Arena is a closed off area for quick firefights. This map is great if you just want to chill and get a feel for how the game works. Arena 2 is another closed off area for quick firefights. It is also better than Arena in my opinion. Arena and Arena 2 are basically the same map with different layouts. I have decided to talk about training last because it is not listed as a mission. However, it has its own button at the top of the menu. This map takes place at a CIA training site known as The Farm. Here, you can test your skills. From what I know, you can only play this level solo or with friends. Ground Branch has some really cool gameplay features that I'd like to go over. First, I think we should start with gunplay. The gunplay in Ground Branch is very satisfying and you can really feel the power of the firearm you're using. The game also manages to have a flexible weapon customization system that allows the player to choose where exactly they want almost every attachment to be on their firearm. Ground Branch also includes a detailed character customization menu. Here, you can customize your operator's looks, customize their gear, and name your operator. The game also has a lobby area in between missions so that you can customize your operator for specific mission in a hurry if needed. Ground Branch is able to achieve all of these gameplay features while staying mainstream and intuitive. This makes Ground Branch and the Milsim community more accessible to newcomers and acts as a nice gateway drug for this niche. The minimum and maximum system requirements for Ground Branch seem pretty reasonable for how well optimized this game has become. The minimum system requirements consist of an i5 2500K or FX8350 CPU, 8GB of RAM, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760 2GB or AMD Radeon HD 7850 GPU. The recommended system requirements consist of an i7 9700K or Ryzen 5 3600 CPU, 16GB of RAM, and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 or RX Vega 56 GPU. Both requirements, however, recommend at least 30 gigabytes of available space. I'm currently running an Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop equipped with NVIDIA RTX 4050 graphics, an i5 12500H processor, and 16 gigabytes of RAM running in dual channel mode. I was pleasantly surprised on how well the game was running using the very high graphics preset. I will put hardware recommendations in the description of this video if you don't know what hardware to get for this game. Ground Branch has really loud music, so I usually turn it off. However, the sound effects are very well made, and you can sometimes use the sound of enemy chatter and footsteps to your advantage in this game. With everything mentioned in this video, I would like to mention an overview of the pros and cons of this game. The pros are satisfying gunplay, impressive and diverse mass selection, realistic ragdolls, intuitive weapon customization, very well optimized game in general and accessible to newcomers. The only con I have for this game is deafness inducing music by default. Now this game is still in early access, and everything covered in this video is possibly subject to change, and I cannot include absolutely everything. Do I recommend this game? Well, the short answer is yes, definitely. However, I will reiterate that the long answer is that tactical shooters are a very niche genre of video games. I honestly believe that if you are unsure whether or not this game is right for you, you should look up more videos about this game and read the reviews on Steam before purchasing. I think that this would give you a general idea of what you're getting into, really. In this video, I reviewed a game called Ground Branch. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like like, share, and comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel. It would help me make better videos. I will put a link to the game in the description so you can go get it yourself. Also, please don't forget to check out my friend Cobra Striker. He makes pretty cool videos. I'll see you in the field. Code Proxy out.